That's the other thing. People sometimes will say that they'll be like, uh, uh, over here it'll be like the, you need to improve your health system because, oh my god, there's so many sick people and yada yada. You need to add more clinics and more hospitals and all that other jive. And it's like, um, first off, like the clinic right here, uh, treatment capacity, 70, but there's only 15 people there. You know, and I've got five ambulances, so what gives? And same thing over here with the hospital. You know, 125 treatment capacity, only 19 people there. You know, four ambulances, that's, you know, it's not the fact of, you know, you need more. What you need is the traffic system itself is so critical to get that right. You know, in order to get 15,000 people in this thing, you seriously have to have, like, avenues on all sides of it. That's the only way I see that to even be possible. And I mean, like, the way it was originally st stated to me when I first started this, I, I thought the crude oil would, you know, like, everyone says that lasts longer than coal and all that, but coal in another town I'm about to show you, it, it really doesn't, you know, doesn't, it lasts pretty a good, good amount of time. Uh, oil it seems to be stuck at one month for, you know, forever, so it's like, it's starting to slow down now, so I'm thinking it's definitely getting towards the end. Because these y'all used to do like 12,000 barrels a day, now they're not doing three, 4,000 at the most. Actually, they're starting to slow down even worse than that. Now they're even down to 2,000. But yeah, it's like, that's lasting forever. The water, the water goes so quickly, it's not even funny. It's a joke, it really is. That and, uh, the, you know, the freaking conga, you know, the super line of cars. Let me go to, the, where's the trading... Uh, here, look, 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 this is what I'm talking about. Why it's the city's having such a hard time succeeding is that these are all services that are trying to get into the city just to, you know, have it work. This is how the glass box engine works, and it can't get in. So the biggest problem, you know, it's not so much problem, it's part of the strategy. You have to have a working transit system, which is why I've got the, you know, the, the rail depot down here working with that, but... Uh, Definitely interesting. So we're going to head on off to my third. This one I did just literally to try to get more people to come into the area just to get jobs over here. Now they say it needs crude oil. That's impossible. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. But this town over here is the one I literally, in order to get... I said this on my review in VGP uh, 145, I think is the episode that I did the review for this game, but... I said that I needed to do another town just literally to get a, a trade depot with a metals HQ on it just to get you know the alloy import on the rail depot over here well this is this town this town's doing a hell of a lot better even though it doesn't have the uh, massive amount of money uh, it's bringing in it's uh, it also doesn't have a massive amount of ne you know negative overhead And, uh, so yeah, this one, like I see, first off, it helps to have a, a cut through, you know, it, 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 like the, the original town there, Frontier Fields has it going all the way around here. Uh, the big thing with, uh, I think all the other cities in this region are this way as well, where it's just like, this is what I'm talking about with just one little inlet right there and then one little inlet, one little inlet. And that's what really chokes you up with that single uh, inlets what really kills you this one as you can see has a uh, cuts right through the center of the town which that you can tie off that and it really helps it out and uh, that's trade HQ that's the metals add-on and that's metals HQ itself got ore 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 and coal You know, this one I've got laid out in a much better uh, fashion. I've got a uh, avenue going all the way, like I said, this goes all the way across. Then I did an avenue all the way up, all the way across, and all the way down. And that allows, uh, a, you know, that uh, helps with traffic. Furthermore, because I have a streetcar depot that just... helps and uh, average wait today zero minutes I mean that's in it's unbelievable and 
and all I'm doing is uh, exporting. Export, 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 export everything. Which, where, what do I want to put on here? Let's add a coal. Yeah, but this entire region, I'm going to dump this entire region and start over again. Just because it's... You know, I mean, just literally for, uh, everything that I've learned, uh, it goes a long way. You know, and like, one thing, like, the one thing I'm going to miss the most is the research I did with the, uh, uh, vertical wind turbines are amazing. They cost a good amount, but they produce a significant amount of electricity. It's like... What is the... Do they produce... There is... Uh, 15 megawatts and 15 miles... In, in 15 megawatts and 10 mile an hour winds. It, basically the way it works out is that it's roughly 13 mile an hour wind, so it's like 17 and a half for every, you know, turbine you put in, which is pretty damn good. Considering the small ones are, you know... The small ones only do 3 megawatts, and the big ones... Big ones take up a ton of space and only do 5.1. I mean, that's nothing. Vertical wind turbines are definitely a good investment. The problem that I have with that, I don't think I said with the university, is that those research projects take forever. You know, and like this, this one hasn't happened yet, but eventually you can start to see it kind of start to fill in because you can see this big area right here, this light blue outline around the sewage plant. This was all white. This whole corner was white. That's why I have the garbage dump over here. That's why I've got the sewage plant here. It fills in after a while, but then it's like, with like this plant, the big problem with this area here is that, look, there's like no water in this entire plot of land. And that really adds a lot of challenge to it. So the challenge with this plot of land is, yes, it's got a lot of resources, but it doesn't have a lot of water. The trick, though, is like with the sewage plant, you have to use a... Uh, you probably put it right about here-ish on the back side. Uh, what I was told is just use filtration pumps and you won't ever have to worry about whether or not uh, the water will be uh, clean or not. So yeah, works out pretty good. You know, I know. And another thing, like this, where's this, where's this jackass? This guy's so irritating. Where is he? There he is. This douche down here, I can't stand him. He's like, every time I look at him, oh, fire surface is slow. You know, or what he'll said, say, in this city, he never says that. What he says is, uh, fire surface, uh, you know, the hazmat fires are burning down the city, and oh my god, and this building right here, for the love of god, keeps burning down. I don't understand it. Look, that's it. This building has been burnt down so many times and rebuilt, it's comical almost. Yeah, this city, I learned a lot, and uh, I'm taking what I learned and really uh, you know, ramping it into uh, the thing. The big thing is you got to grow, s people, d you grow too, fa too quickly, and that's what really screws a lot of people up. But granted, this city doesn't have nearly as much residence as the other two, but it's, um, I'd have a lot more confidence in this one in the long run. I, I'm not going to claim that the traffic layout in this uh, city is anything close to, you know, uh, amazing. It's probably not. It's probably, there's probably problems here and there. Like, spacing on the roads is probably not optimal. But, uh, you know, yeah, it's part of learning the game. You gotta trial by error. But, yeah. So anyway, that's, that's the cities I got thus far, so good stuff.